Hiya. Yeah. So this is um, the first set of vids for the first lesson of the applied part. So we're on kinematics part one. There's three different packs for kinematics. Part one, part two, part three. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this in two or three lessons. I'll just see how we do. Because the first bit's not too bad, but it looks like that's the end of the first lesson. And the second bit's quite long. Right, let's have a look. Uh, didn't work. Try again. Here we go. So it says here that mechanics deals with the action of forces on objects. So in real life, there's loads of stuff going on, but we make it easier for us. We make assumptions and we kind of do things like ignore air resistance. Um, it just makes it easier for us. So it says here that you need to understand that the significance of different modeling assumptions and how they affect the calculations. Right, so let's have a look at this then. So a particle, so anything, um, we treat as a particle really, a single point. Um, and that's what that kind of says. Now we, we don't deal with spin and we ignore air resistance. So that's what it's saying. So, so there's no rotational effects and there's no spin. And there's no air resistance. Hopefully from school, you know the difference between scalar and vector. The scalar is just the number, whereas vector, is, you want to know which way you're going as well, pretty much. Uh, so it says there, scalar is magnitude, vector has magnitude and direction. Distance is scalar, but displacement is vector. So this first bit, I think, is all about, um, about distances, really. Right, so let's have a look at this first example then. So it says there are three points, A, B, and C, in that order. A, B is 100 and B, C is 200. So if I draw a little line, there's A, there's B, and then there's C, roughly too far, twice as far away. So that's 100 metres, and that's 200 metres. So we go A to B, then to C, and then finally back to B. So part one says the distance travelled when at C. Right then, so the distance travelled uh, from A to C is just 300 metres. That's how much I've physically gone. Now, what does it say about the displacement? So the displacement is how far you are from the origin. So, for the displacement, A to C, if you take A as your start point, I'm still 300 metres away. But then it says, for part three, the distance when re, uh, to go back to B. So what my distance back to B, so my distance is A to C, and then I'm going to add on C to B. So it's 300 plus 200, it's 500 metres. Now this is like the total distance travelled, I'm not fussed which way I'm going. I walked out to C, it was 300 metres. And then I walked back to B and it was 200 metres. But I'm not bothered about that. And the distance isn't bothered about that. But the displacement is. The displacement, I've got to think, how far away from A am I now? So that's what I'm thinking, how far away from A am I, oops, I'm put now with a, with a K. So if you think, from A to C, I walked 300 metres. Now I might take that, A to C, as my positive direction. So from A to C was like a plus 300 but from B to C, I'm coming back. So I'm coming back by minus 200 metres. So if I'm dealing with displacement, if it's going in what I think is my positive, it's plus. If I'm coming back, it's minus. So in terms of my displacement, I'm only 100 metres away from A. So this is the thing, I'm only 100 metres away from A. 
And that's the difference. So my distance, I walked out 300, came back 200, but I'm not fussed about the direction, so I just walked 500 metres. Whereas with displacement, I did 300 metres in my positive direction, but then came back 200 metres. So I'm now only physically 100 metres away. So that, that's not that to that. Uh, next page. So then it says speed is scalar, velocity is a vector. So we know speed is distance over time, um, and average speed is total distance over total time, and velocity is the same idea, it's displacement over time. Uh, it's not really used in the exam question the way you say that, but you know, it's in your back later on. Um, so it might be asked to work out speed or velocity. We do a lot of stuff with vectors in the second year. So we, we kind of work more with velocity and then make it into speed by finding out. Right, so it says example two. So Sunita has a letter to post um, on her way to college. You know what I might do? I'm going to stop the vid and just do it as a separate one. 